Often, when analyzing data from an experiment, the need arises to do some mathematical calculations with the data. Perhaps the student wants to add a constant to a column of data, maybe take the product of two columns of data so they can multiply the columns together, or maybe take the first or second derivative of a column and be able to have that as a column of data to be able to analyze. So I'd like to show you how to do this. And uh, so I will start off by opening up one of our experiments in the Graphical Analysis Pro. And it's one of the experiment files, the Boyle's Law Lab uh, from our chemistry book. And it does call for the students to do some calculated columns. So let's take a look at how that's done. So I've already opened up the file. And what we see here is a graph of pressure versus volume in the Boyle's Law Lab. And so this is looking at the relationship between pressure and volume. You can see down here that it uses our uh, gas pressure sensor in a syringe. And the students vary the volume of the syringe and measure the pressure. Now, um, in this case, um, we have the data table up here that says volume and pressure. What I would like to do is calculate a column that is one over the volume. So I'm trying to linearize the data so that I can obtain the gas constant from the slope of the graph. So to do the calculated column, I go here where there are the three dots. And this is, indicates that there are other options here. And if I click there, one of the options here is to do add calculated column. In this case, um, it asked me what do I want to name it, and I'm going to say that it's uh, one over volume, and the units are going to be will be one over milliliters, and so that just gives me the column name and units, and then it says insert expression, and so here is a list of various uh, equations that are available, and I want to choose a over x because X will actually be a column of data and A would be some parameter. In this case, it's just a constant one. So I will come here and uh, in fact, it defaults to it being one in this case. And uh, we could see that column for X, it's actually already choosing it as volume. And that's because I chose the volume column as I did the calculation. So I will do apply. And when I do that, you will see here that I have a column that's named one over volume. And what I would like to do is I'd actually like to graph this. So I will go here to the view options and I'm going to make this have two graphs and I want to make the Y axis on this graph. I will have it pressure, but then instead of volume, I click down here and I do one over volume so that now I have a linear plot. And if I came here and applied the curve fit and did the linear fit, the slope here should give me the gas constant for this experiment. Now I'd like to show you an example of when using the custom expression is very handy. So I'm gonna open up another file. I'll go to sample experiments here, and I would like a physics experiment and I would like to use the ball toss lab. So in this lab, they use the motion detector, toss the ball over the motion detector, and we have a position time graph and a velocity time graph. So we have the position time graph at the top and the velocity graph at the bottom. And suppose that I knew the mass of the ball and we were studying energy concepts. So I might want the students to calculate the potential energy and the kinetic energy, and then maybe calculate the total energy of the system. So to do this, I want to come up here and actually show the data table. And at first, I think what I will do is I'm going to calculate the potential energy. So I go here and do calculated column. And so I'll go ahead and label this potential energy. Units of joules and insert expression. Now it turns out the expression that they need is actually here, but it's not necessarily clear to them that how this would work. So in fact, if I were trying to calculate MGH, um, I could actually use this one, um, where MG would be uh, the A term there, so I'd have to do that math, and then uh, X would be the position raised to the first power. 
So this is an example of when the custom expression is very handy for students. Um, so they can come here and instead of doing that, they could say, well, I need to multiply the mass times gravity times the position. So let's say the mass of the ball is 300 grams or 0.3 kilograms. So I'll do this, I'll do 0.3 times 9.8 acceleration due to gravity times the column name, the position. So this will give me MGH and that will be the potential energy column. Now, if I would like to graph that, I could come up here and maybe I do three graphs and I make this graph instead of acceleration, I make it potential energy of the ball and I can auto scale that. And so this is now the potential energy. Now, I might wanna calculate the kinetic energy. And so to do that, I will come here, add another calculated column. And now for the expression, I want one half the mass times velocity squared. And again, it's actually there, but it's easier to come down and do the custom expression. So I could say 0.5, times the mass, which was 0.3, times the velocity squared, and apply. I'm actually going to change this column and from velocity and make it kinetic energy. So this column now has the kinetic energy. And what I would like to do is to calculate the total energy. And so maybe I put this on the, the top graph there. So I will come back here, there, add calculated column. In this case, I'm going to use the existing equation a times x plus b times y. Um, because I could say I want the kinetic energy for that one. I want the, this to be the potential energy. And when I apply, then that will give me total energy. I can come here and say, make that total energy. And now I have the graph of the total energy at the top. The most advanced users may want to utilize the functions that are available under custom expression. So if you go here uh, and click on function, uh, you'll see the list of over 30 different mathematical functions that can be used when doing calculated columns. For a more detailed guide on how to use the functions in Graphical Analysis Pro, I would refer you to the user's manual, and it's available online by going to the upper right corner of the Graphical Analysis Pro, clicking there, and it will take you to a link where you can download the user's manual from the website. The calculated columns function in Graphical Analysis Pro is a key feature for doing data analysis in the app. Um, if you would like to try it out for yourself, uh, you can download a free 30-day trial from Vernier.com of Graphical Analysis Pro. It's available for five platforms, iOS, Mac, PC, Android, and Chrome. I mean, so you could download this, you could choose an experiment and check out how to do the calculated columns yourself.